Remembering is a conscious act. Even when the Spanish Civil War was over 73 years ago, it doesn't seem that way. There are constant reminders of the conflict in the Spanish landscape. However, these visible scars often lack interpretation. This is the case in Belchite. General Franco, as the victor of the war, decided to leave destroyed towns as mute witnesses. However, there have been some changes since Franco's death in 1975. One example is Corbera de Ebre in Catalonia. Corbera de Ebre's ruins serve as a center of preservation and interpretation of the Battle of the Ebro. Still, a lot more needs to be done. Between 1936 and 1975, monuments and memorials commemorating the rebel side victims killed during the war proliferated throughout Spain. Originally planned as mausoleum for all combatants, the Valley of the Fallen became the symbol of an oppressive regime. At least hundreds of political prisoners worked in its construction between 1940 and 1959 to redeem themselves. Since the return of democracy, there have been few attempts to remember all the victims. However, the focus shifted to recognize only those that were missing in the record during the dictatorship. Over time, painful pasts tend to be forgotten. Thousands were killed in Badajoz in 1936, but not much is left from that. Guernica is different. Francoist propaganda blame on the Loyalist Air Force the bombardment that caused the almost total destruction of the city. However, as it is today shown at the Guernica Museum, the German Condor Legion perpetrated this crime. Loyalist forces besieged the Alcázar in Toledo, where several hundred civilians and army men took refuge in July of 1936. After the war, the Alcázar was reconstructed. The city of Madrid was also under siege but this time by rebel forces. Loyalist militia used several buildings in the city to torture and execute so-called rebel sympathizers. In Barcelona, Stalinists, Trotskyites and anarchists fought between each other for the control of the city. <laughs> 